First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true love of the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final five, true Father, one west. This is Father King's going to get you yet another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, lessons into the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of so called African American blacks, so called Latino descent, and so called Native American and Indian descent. You represent the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And also our brothers and sisters that scatter broad sea and land that even look like the other nation, which is called the confusion of face among Israel. To you also say shalom and peace and blessings be unto you. Um, I'm going to call this lesson um, 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 the Most High didn't attend for Esau to take it as far as he did, um, you know. Um, yes, the Most High allowed it because we broke his law, statutes, and commandments, you know. Um, but Esau definitely took it. Prim Esau, primarily in the other nation, which is the so-called white man, he definitely took it to the to the fifth power, as they say, or the tenth power, or the hundredth power. He took our captivity to another level. You know what I mean? Um, that's why <clears throat> um, the Most High is going to repay them double. When you read the Book of Revelation, eighteenth chapter, I believe in the verse uh, Revelation verse eighteen. I believe is in. Um, when you read the book of Obadiah, it says that nation, um, no, no, um, no one of Mount of Esau should be standing, you know, because they overdid, they overdid it. It's like overkill, you know, they overdid the punishment. Let's get a scripture on that real quick. It's the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Remember, that's when, us, that's when we went into slavery, in which we still in another form of slavery now, which is called debt slavery, when you read his history. And that's when that's when um, everything is tied to a um, social security number, which is tied to either like um, 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 a debt of some type of debt, whether it be mortgage, whether it be student loans, whatever it might be, you are tied to a loan, which is debt slavery. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of this war in the time of their calamities and the time their iniquity had an end. So we were supposed to, at the 1865, they were supposed to let us go, you know. Um, as the approximation of Macapation, I believe I'm pronouncing it, <laughs> when uh, Abraham passed that, Abraham Lincoln passed that law, we were supposed to be free, but it didn't end there, you know? They made, they had, a, the scripture, they had a perpetual hatred towards us. And like I say, like get back to the title of the class, like I say, the most allowed this to happen to us because we broke his law, statute, and commandments, but they overdid it. They overkilled it. They did an overkill. Um, it's like it's like a parent. If you're a parent, or whether you're an older brother, or older sister, or, and you're looking after someone that's younger than you, or that's fragile than you, someone that's of up uh, young in age, rather, um, you might tell them don't touch the kitchen stove, and you might know that you they might not listen to you, and you and they'll still go and touch the kitchen stove. Well, you you allowed it to happen, but you didn't intend for it to scar. It might have scarred them or injured them. To the point where they might um, have to have stitches or even lose their hand. Rather, I'm just using that for a parable or an, like an example of what I'm what I'm trying to get to. The point I'm trying to make. Yeah, yes, the Most High well allowed them to rule over us, but they overdid it. He didn't intend for them to just totally. Um, I mean, the scriptures say, um, "Unless the days be short, no flesh left to be spared." I mean, if they had it that way, they would really wipe us off the face of the earth, you know? You know, that's why Scripture said they had a perpetual hatred. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, um, Slocket, chapter 1, verse 15. It says, I'm very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they held for the affliction. Meaning that the Most High was angry with us, but he didn't intend for them to take it as far as they did. Like an example, Joel chapter 9, verse 24, they cover the face of the judge thereof. I mean, damn, you're going to cover the faces of the angels, the heavenly father, the king of kings, royalty himself, the, the holy precious son, the holy one of Israel. I mean, really, Esau? I mean, that's what they did. That's what it says, that, that um, I would very so, I'm very sore displeased with the heathen that are, that are ease because they because they created a slave trade off the back of us, which steamed from the doctrine of Christianity. Christianity is slavery. I did a class on that. 
Christianity is slavery. So when they push Christianity, they pushing slavery upon you. For I was but a little displeased, and they held for the affliction. And, and that's why Esau, Edom, that nation, out of all the nations on the face of the earth, that nation is going to be completely extinct, you know, by the Heavenly Father. He's going to literally not, he's going to literally judge that nation to annihilation. You know, and with that, I want to close it out. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Father Yahweh, also the true Lord beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, also the final five true father, one west. This is Father Kings, where I back at you yet with another lesson. Shalom. Peace and blessings, Israel. Shalom. Shalom.